Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back again with the ANET ET4X. Friends, today we are going to put in some ABS filament and see if it can handle that. So let's get cracking. All right, so I had PLA in here, and you can see it is heated up past 220 because I hit that plus sign. I'm going to switch to change filament, and I'm going to hit unload, but I'm going to only unload one centimeter uh, because up top I had a little bit of an issue <laughs> where it snapped off. So I'm going to make sure it's coming out well before I actually send it. All right, it did come out. It's on the wrong side of the filament sensor because my old PLA, it snapped off. And this is kind of interesting. It's letting me unload filament even though it's not going through the filament sensor. So I'm gonna switch to 30. And there it goes. Now we've learned before that 30 takes a while. <laughs> so I can flip the camera up and you can see it actually coming out. Now, all of my filament is not stored in a dry box. I just use it as quick as I can. If it ever dies, I just say, oh well. Um, I've usually found most filament. I can find a printer it works on. If it gets finicky on one, I just move it to another. That's one of the advantages of having so many printers. Um, this filament from MakerBot is probably from 2010, 2011. Uh, I bought a printer with a grant back then and got a lot of filament with it and it was in the dry bags but this has been sitting in my house for a year now hey the filament actually came out with all 30 centimeters this time so now I can go down and hit the stop button and you might have noticed as soon as I hit it it stopped before I start the loading process let's switch to that one centimeter so that way it's ready and then I'll click load uh, right now it says 210 I'm gonna bump that up and it's going by fives and I'm gonna load at 225 uh, when I'm doing the ABS all right before I load it I'm gonna snip it I get a nice sharp angle so it's easier to get it through there and then as I showed you earlier I like to just uh, feed it through using my uh, tried and tested push mess uh, method that was amazingly simple. And instead of using the feed to get it all the way to the end, I just push it. And now we can check down below. I would do the little hand push and you'll see there's some filament coming out. So the extruder is hot enough. And now I'm gonna go over to the load and do the one centimeter. And you can see that is functioning just as it's supposed to as well. So now my friends, let's print one of my favorite ABS prints is a catapult I'm gonna grab this one here called 1.2 I believe I've uploaded this on Thingiverse so it is available so we've been printing in PLA and with PLA we were using a bed of 60 uh, you're supposed to go 110 but our printer can only go to 100 so I'm gonna set the build plate at 100 and then the printing temperature I'm gonna put at 240 which I have double checked and the printer can reach that I'm gonna change the print speed to 40 because it's doing a more difficult project or a more difficult material and then because I want this to be a little more sturdy I'm gonna bump the infill up to 40 percent I'm doing triangles I'm gonna stay with my 0.3 layers because I'm always in a hurry I'm gonna do my wall thickness of two whole millimeters so I'm trying to make it a little bit more sturdy all right, friends, so now that we got the settings all set up for ABS, let's save it to the card and take it to the printer. All right, friends, so as you can see, it did print well, but I'm going to tell you, it was the second time I printed it. Uh, remember, this filament was really old, and I only set it for 20% infill, and when I pulled it back, this snapped off. Now, the print is pretty splendid. I'm not gonna blame that on the printer. I'm gonna blame that on old filament and not enough infill. This is with 40% infill, and you can see it is twisting back. And then when you pull that back, it locks in place. And now we gotta find something to shoot. Just so happens I've got one of the cubes, and let's let it go. 
<laughs> all the way across the room. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. We have got the ET4X printing with ABS. Uh, bed got up to 100 instead of 110, but it did it here fine. And the rest of the printer did just what you'd expect. Uh, friends, I will put a link to this in the description if you're interested in 3D printing it. It is on Thingiverse. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.